A controversial plan to build a new 7-Eleven in Myrtle Beach is one step closer to becoming reality. Our Stephen Schlink was at a final approval hearing today and joins us live now. So Stephen, it sounds like this decision was not a quick process for that group. Hey, good afternoon, Rachel. Yes, I would not use the word quick to describe it. The community appearance board spent quite a bit of time on this project today going through the ins and outs of what it would bring. In the end, they approved most of the project, but neighbors tell me they still have some concerns about safety in the area. I'd like to see what the true outcome will be and how everything comes together. Elizabeth Medwig attended today's community appearance board meeting where they heard a final proposal on a new 7-Eleven slated to be built near the Grand Dunes neighborhood in the area of 79th Avenue North and Marina Parkway. Uh, I just hope that no one, there's no accidents happening with pedestrians, which is a high rate here in Myrtle Beach. So that concerns me greatly. Medwig and many of her neighbors have raised concerns about safety and what the 7-Eleven could do to the environment since it would be near a greenway. She voiced those concerns during the final approval meeting today. And I think they all felt that they were concerned as well, but that they are taking every precaution that they can do to make sure things will be done safely. The board requested some changes be made to the plans last time the proposal was heard. Some of those changes will help traffic flow in and out of the gas station, which is something a spokesperson for the developer noted during today's meeting. In the second access, we did reduce that down to 30 feet. Uh, we shifted the fuel tanks uh, slightly over to allow to make sure that when the truck is parked for fueling, it wouldn't block the entrance. Um, we kicked back the uh, dumpsters so the gates would not be swinging into the drive aisle. In the end, the board approved plans for the building, landscape, and lighting, but denied the plans for the signage, saying some of the signs were too big for the residential area. Medwig is optimistic about the future. So these things are going to be addressed, and they're going to try to revamp it. Next, I'm told that those developers can now start requesting the permits to begin construction. Those developers will have to come back before the Community Appearance Board with a new proposal for that signage that was denied today. It's unclear how soon all of this could take place. I asked the spokesperson for those developers today for comment, but he declined. Live in Myrtle Beach, Stephen Schlink, WMBF News.